So I'm Tom Ferris uh, with the Industrial and Systems Engineering Department. I'm an assistant professor, and I run the Human Factors and Cognitive Systems Engineering Lab. A little bit about what, what we do here. We are interested in the human as an element of a system, from the systems engineering perspective. Uh, so we're interested in how do we communicate the, sta the state of a technological system to a human controller, or how do we support two humans in communicating to each other. Uh, so one of the win things we're particularly interested in are efficient ways to communicate information. So we can send a visual signal, an auditory message, a tactile message, we can even use the sense of smell. And there are some properties of these different channels that are really well suited for certain types of information. So some of the things we look at in our, labs are, in our lab is a little more uh, novel uh, ways to display certain types of information. And then we're also interested in measuring ways uh, to determine how efficient that message can be communicated. For, our, uh, for one of our studies, the cognitive efficiency study, uh, we're looking at ways to quantify how much information is communicated to a person and how reliably it, it is communicated so when they act on it, but also how much mental engagement it's requiring. So we're really interested in domains where there's a very high uh, demand for information processing resources. So it's very important that if we're going to communicate more information, that it's done in a minimally loading way. So we have a study that's looked at different ways to measure both the informativeness of a message as well as that cognitive engagement. And some of the ways we've looked at cognitive engagement include um, uh, subjective measures of some, some standardized scaling, but maybe some more interesting ones, we use performance measures and we look at physiological measures. So we're looking at uh, electrical brain activity, the electroencephalography, uh, skin conductance, um, and, and a, a number of other measures that we're considering. Uh, so we have equipment to be able to measure those things, and we've been looking at some very uh, fundamentally, very simple displays that just use very fundamental display dimensions and looking at how this affects the informativeness, people being able to uh, receive the information from the message, as well as how engaging it is for their cognitive resources. Uh, we're particularly interested in the sense of touch as a channel um, other than vision and audition that really has a lot of potential but hasn't been explored very fully in a lot of domains. Now the sense of touch has some some unique properties. It, it tends to be one that we can uh, we can sense a tactile signal uh, from any direction regardless of where our attention is oriented. We call it an omnidirectional sense, just like audition. Uh, but unlike audition, it tends to be very well, um, very well coordinated with our motor system. So if you need somebody to do a movement, one of the best ways to do that is to relay the information via a, a particular location being vibrated on that person's body. So we've developed a system to help us uh, do this in a very um, we call it cl closing the, the loop from uh, somebody sending a message to a person receiving it if the message is some sort of motor direction. Um, so we have a display that uses a gestural based input. So we use a, a um, gyroscopic controller, and a Nintendo Wiimote that we've, we've repurposed as a, a, a gesture controller. And we have a commander who can send messages by waving this controller. Uh, so it's a very intuitive way to direct somebody, give somebody directional instructions. And then we've mapped that to patterns of vibrations that would be presented on a receiver's, uh, uh, almost in a, uh, like a, a shirt display. So we have these vibrators embedded in the shirt and they can receive this pattern of vibrations. And the idea is that we can direct someone in a very efficient way because we're shortening the amount of time it takes the sender to send a direction because they can just gesture. They don't have to think about how to say it or how to, how to visually uh, orient somebody. Uh, and then the receiver acts very intuitively that they can almost perceptually respond to the vibration displays and if it's directing them. And we're also looking at some other additional questions. How far can we push this display? So how much information can we reliably relate with the sense of touch? And can we find a way to have two communicators develop their own intuitive way to use the system? So there are a number of applications we can look at there. If you can think of any um, domain where you might have to send a message to somebody very quickly and have them respond by physically moving as quickly as possible. So a great example would be firefighting. You have somebody 
who is, is, is uh, moving throughout a dynamically changing environment, dynamically changing threat levels in different locations. Another great example are military op applications, dismounted soldiers, um, maybe in a, in a battlefield scenario. And uh, another example we like to talk about are uh, like leisure sports. So if you have an instructor who needs to communicate with somebody who is doing a physical activity, uh, imagine skiing down a hill or snowboarding down a hill, and giving some feedback as to which, what they need to do, how they need to reposition their body. Um, we can do these types of physical interactions that we would only be able to do if we were physically close enough to move somebody, and now we can do it at a distance with this type of a, of a system. Uh, so that's very beneficial. You can imagine a military commander who's guiding some troops through, through uh, hostile territory and has some information coming in all the time, has a better perspective than the soldiers on the ground, for example, and can very, very quickly, almost as quickly as possible, direct the soldiers away from or toward, away from danger or towards a safe passageway.